my first question, you know, four o'clock yesterday afternoon, tickets go on sale, and then within 30 minutes, All In is sold out. I, I have to ask you, Cody, because I had goosebumps when the word came down. How did you feel when you heard those two words sold out? I, d- I didn't believe it because we were supposed to get 30 minute updates from the box office director at Sears Center and our rep. So, supposed to be 30 minute updates. I got, as soon as tickets went on sale, uh, we were driving uh, from one hour tease the storefront to the Odeum, and I tried to buy a ticket on my phone. And I, I couldn't. I got kicked back out of the virtual waiting room. And then I finally got in. And then I got a call. Uh, and it was a 10-minute update saying, like, 3,000 tickets had sold in 10 minutes or whatever. And I thought, oh, wow. Well, just, whoops. Uh, you know, our, our projection, projections were 4,000 in the first week. which is what we were told. <laughs> and, uh, and then when we got to the building, there was, like, Several, we were in several different cars, and Matt had heard that it had been technically classified as a sold out. And then uh, all of a sudden, people, one after another, congratulations, congratulations. But I still hadn't got the official message from the box office director. So I, the, the whole thing, I, I really basically found out by my peers right when I got to the building, and um, I, needed, I needed a second. I had to kind of go around the, the corner and and wait for that message and then the message came that it was officially a sold out and you know in 29 minutes 36 seconds or whatever it was and just uh that's a good feeling man it's a real good feeling you know walking in today and as you're telling that story i got a smile from ear to ear and I think for you, obviously, and, and, and for the Bucks and you know everybody behind this, it, it's got to feel good. But I'm just letting you know from taking phone calls today, the fans are as happy as you are this morning. Oh, hey, well, that was the whole that was the, that was the whole point. That there, there was a real uh, exciting. We did the signing prior to the show yesterday, and the best part of the autograph signing by far. The best part was uh, every fan in our you know lines for these autographs. They kept saying, "I'm all in." And uh, did you get tickets? Yeah, I got tickets. Was it hard? Oh, it, was, it was hard, but I got I got them. I got it. You know, like that was one after another. And we were signing. I mean, you know, you get these at Ring of Honor. You get these little tickets for yourself individually. We were just so excited. We were hugging people. We were signing other people's stuff. Just for you know, even Bernard, the the business bear, was was hugging and high five, and it was just man, this is a good feeling. And it hasn't, it hasn't, you know, I I, I want to act like I've been to the damn end zone before, but it hasn't really set in because we did not. I I could tell you on the radio, you know, uh, I could tell anybody that oh, I I know we're gonna do it. That's what we're gonna do. I believe, and uh, you know, we're gonna. I could say all that, but. You, you you don't really know until you know, and man, just 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 I'm glad the fans are happy. Cody, with with you guys selling out in a half an hour, and, and such a major accomplishment. Thinking about the emotion of the fans right now and how you guys looked yesterday, I went on record earlier in the show and said I believe that people could walk away from this saying that they attended the greatest wrestling show that they've ever been to. Do you agree? Is that your goal now to put this, to put all in on the map as one of the greatest shows ever? Yeah. For me, it has to be worth their money. Um, and that, that, you know, you always say to yourself and, and you're like this as well, you know, save nothing or essentially there is no small shows. That's how I've gone into every show I've ever been part of, but this is totally different. Uh, so I, I try not to speculate on, on it, but when you hear something like what you're saying, if that's what people are saying, then that's what we have to do. If it really is this watershed moment, uh, if there really is this great change, I try to, push all that out of my head because we, I have to put this show together now 
and you know that show is for one night and you have to be there and just so i try to push all that out but if that's the sentiment that's wonderful because the sentiment is what drove this to happen in the first place people's courage not our courage to put some money down for rent for insurance we don't have that courage unless we are at the shows that you've been at where these are just parties bullet club parties the end of the show just you don't want it to you don't want it to end you know you the the cameras are down but you you want to keep engaging the fans that over the last year was the driving force behind saying yeah we can do 10,000 people of course we can do 10,000 people and now we have i think it i think it's technically 10,145 was the the max max and yeah that's a that's a hell of a thing especially somebody with your experience to you know perhaps if that's the case you know we just got to give it to them and I'm just wondering, Cody, of, of that 10,000 seats, is there going to be a special ringside seat for Dave Meltzer on September 1st? Uh, hey, we, we gave everybody the same chance. I, I think Dave got his tickets, but I don't think he got ringside. Uh, I could perhaps see him, Dave, you know, maybe I moved Dave up for my match. Maybe he gets a little ticket upgrade maybe i just put him just to just so he can get his eyes on it but i know he got his tickets who, but who knows i mean prices were were getting high prices were getting high but it's not about dave man it was and it wasn't and that you know i said that yesterday uh at the press conference or whatever wild west event we tried to put on there i don't know if you saw the press conference it was insane just just wild west but uh i said that's you know, let's talk about what all in is and let's talk about what all in isn't. And all in is no longer about a bet with Dave. I mean, I won the bet, so I will wait for the dollar patiently. I will wait, but, uh, it's, it's about what it is. is about a feeling and the feeling that we're talking about this morning that, you know, there's a big change going on in the industry. And and again, I just want to for the fans that didn't know, it was it was about a year ago today. It was May of 2017 when somebody on Twitter just asked Dave Meltzer if you know he thinks that you know you can get an arena full of 10,000 fans, and he said not anytime soon. Maybe he was thinking of days and weeks and not months. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe that's how he was thinking. I saw you know I'm pretty active on social media perhaps a little too active i saw yesterday he you know continued to praise everything and praise everything and hey he was even helping out fans directing them on where to go that's and cool he's he's part of starcast um as well i know that um and that's hilarious that it went from i don't think they can currently get ten thousand people to you know he's getting a, a payday I, from us for a show that has <laughs> so so hey you know the beauty of the industry well whatever the payday is make sure you cut one dollar less yeah i was kind of expecting this kind of grandiose gesture you know sometime this week maybe a framed dollar maybe he comes to my house a lot like and we do it live I, I would actually, something. I'd make him come into the middle of the ring and give it to you in the middle of the ring after your match. What if he falls or something? <laughs> well, it could be a, what if he falls? <laughs> then, then we then send I'm, it to Botchamania. Millions. Yeah, but then I'll owe millions. Yeah, maybe we'll <laughs> do that. Maybe we'll do that. Hey, one of the questions that we've been getting from a lot of our listeners this morning on social media is, because this exploded overnight, do you guys have any plans or have you thought about putting this on like an iPay-per-view or anything like that? We thought about, um, you know, we've thought about everything, iPay-per-view, pay-per-view, and then there's the multitude of streaming services that have all come to us with that idea that's been more tough than talking to my peers about wrestling you know positions on the show so many people have approached us about streaming and we're still in the process of thinking about it um i i definitely can't say that we're 100 percent not i can't say that we're 100 percent are it's 
it's something we're thinking about. And we have some places in mind, two particular, you know, that we would probably consider streaming it on if if we do. But as of now, you, you've got to be there um, that night. But it's a conversation that happens daily, daily. And you know this because you've, you've been in the locker room with us. It's got to get three thumbs up. It's got to get a unanimous. That's that's for everything on the show. We can't. Nothing is split decision. So I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we'll start talking about it uh, today. This uh, this little crew really loves wrestling, man. That's all we talk about. You know, when Bully and I were talking, we and by the way, Cody. I'm serious. We've been talking about this the entire show, you know, the two hours now and 45 minutes of today's show. And, you know, early on in the show, Bully brought up, even though we know that this card is still taking shape, we don't know exactly what the card is going to be on September 1st. One match we do know is that you're going up, you know, for that NWA championship. And for me, as an old school NWA fan, knowing that this NWA championship is going to be defended in front of 10,000 fans and the possibility of you walking away with that title around your waist, that's something that gives you goosebumps. I couldn't figure out for the life of me what I was going to be doing uh, at my own own event, at me, Madden, Nick's event. And then the 10 Pounds of Gold series and what, you know, what Lagana and what Billy, uh, what, what they've been able to do uh, with the resurgence of the NWA World Championship and Nick Alvis and what he's been able to do, it, it's one of those things that makes you turn your head, and makes you give notice. And then when it when it got in my ear, you know, when it when it got in that, uh, well, what about a challenge for the World Championship? I wanted to do nothing but after that, and for so many reasons. Uh, I think for you know some fans, there's the obvious connection between my father and the the title itself. He's a three time, you know, NWA World Champion. It's the the height of his career. But then there's just also this the entrepreneurial spirit of All In and and the entrepreneurial spirit of bringing this title back and in the perfect storm of them coming together. So there's a lot of reasons to attach your attach yourself to that match and I'm glad it got such a great reception you know when you make an announcement like that you you can be confident but that feedback when when you made the right call and when people feel good about it so I'm I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to being on the 10 pounds of gold uh, YouTube series that uh, Dave Dave does he does a great job and I love following wrestling from a documentary style mm-hmm. it's a really crazy business and it's just so much damn fun what would dusty have said to you this morning <laughs> i i think dusty would have said to me prior to this morning he would have said to me yesterday at the press conference when the table the plastic tables we can't even get a wood table uh the mics aren't working he would have said for sure that this was a very stupid idea. Very, this whole thing. But uh, stupid ideas sometimes end up ha- changing everything. And I know this, he would, have, he would have had a nickname is what it is. He would have called me the, the 10,000 kid or something, and he would have been telling everybody. He was very fatherly in his... Like he'd walk into the Bob Evans or Waffle House and tell him, "Hey, I'm here with a ten thousand kid." He like he just always telling these random people about his his children, and it was cool, and he was proud of me for something. So I know he'd, I know he'd be, you know, excited. He'd probably be trying to get on the show. He'd probably be trying to get that get a booking. <laughs> get that payday. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, hey, you know, I don't want to make it about me, but if you want me in your corner, something, like, you know, and then all of a sudden he's out there just, you know, enamoring the people. So I'd, I'd hope he would be, he would be proud. I, uh, I kept looking at this picture of him yesterday, and he just got his hands up sitting in his office when he was, you know, doing the booking for Crockett. And he's, you can see the film in the projector. You can see it in his eyes, the 
that he was doing something. He was thinking of something. And it wasn't a wrestling match. It was, it was a big thing. You know, he was a big event guy. And, you know, it feels good to be doing a big event myself. I guess that got in my blood, too. So. And it's not even just a big event, Cody. You're doing something that hasn't been done in 20 years. You know, to be outside the WWE and to sell out a building and in, in this record amount of time, you're, you're you're talking this hasn't been done in pro wrestling in decades. Well, we're doing it now. <laughs> I don't know that we're doing it now. I uh, I didn't look at any of the reasons why this didn't wouldn't work. I think now that it, you know, we it's great to celebrate that we've, we've sold it out in 29 minutes and 39 seconds. That to me is still, I, I, it has not set in. I do not have a way to articulate that to you really how I feel, but the, the hard work begins now. Let's, let's figure out the best possible way to make this weekend. It's a whole weekend with Starcast, with punk doing the autograph signing at one hour tease, the show itself. We're doing all these in town appearances that uh, Dana Massey, Mrs. Matt Jackson has organized for us. And uh, it's just, I really want to mobilize the city and, and, and enjoy Chicago for everybody that, um, that weekend who's coming to join us. It's just, now we gotta, now we gotta put this thing together. I said earlier in the show that I thought this would be as big as an OzFest or a WrestleMania fan weekend, and I actually think it's going to be better because it's new, it's organic, and the word that I think will sum it all up is fun. It doesn't matter if a fan has a ticket for this event, Cody. I would just want to be hanging out in the parking lot before and after. You can always follow the event on social media. I think wrestling fans from sea to shining sea just need to show up and be a part of it. I was part of a wrestling revolution, and I think you guys have tapped in to the next wrestling revolution. When you... When everything was happening with you uh, with ECW and that revolution you speak of, did you? I'm, I'm honestly asking you. Did you? Did you know? Did you? Or was it later that you, you? Like you said, it was fun. It was something they wanted to be part of. But did you know then what you guys were doing was going to change wrestling forever? We knew that we were a part of something special. We sure. knew that we were doing something that people took took up and and you know took notice. We did not sell out 10,000 seats in 30 minutes. And when I compare it to that, that makes what you've done that much bigger. Well, I, 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 man, I mean, it's the whole thing is I knew we would do well. I was confident in the event. That's why we put our own money into the event. But I hope it's exactly what you said it's going to be and, and fun. I know that seems so simple, and, and uh, hell, it might even seem dated, but that's what wrestling is always supposed to be. And that's why I, I think wrestling is the best sport. I think it's the best piece of sports entertainment. I think it's the best piece of live theater. Uh, the, it's not a preachy, message-based thing you're seeing. It's meant to be fun. That's, that's the beauty of it. Does I'm glad you're being so nice to me too. After yesterday, where you just, just just humbled me in front of the entire locker room. Have you guys talked about this that that this morning at all? Have you brought that up? No. <laughs> Well, I think we have our topic for tomorrow. Uh, Cody Rhodes, the Leonard Nimoy of pro wrestling. Uh, Cody Rhodes, man, you gotta hear. You gotta hear the story. But now I, you gotta let him tell. the I story. I know, but, but we got a break. The show is oh, ending in a few minutes. Forget it then. We'll have to do the story again. You want to do the story? Down Son the of road? a bitch, Alex Metz. What do I do here? We don't have enough time. Son of a bitch, couldn't make that earlier. In, it's in all good. Day. It's not <laughs> all in today. It's, all, it's in all good. <laughs> We'll tell the story another time. Uh, all right. We'll have to get that story another time. Cody Rhodes, man, we're so happy for you. Appreciate the time this morning. Thank you guys so, so much for spending time on the event. And, uh, yeah, man, let's do the thing. Yeah, we'll be in Chicago for sure, no doubt. 